Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Democracy. My name is Weasel, and we're playing Germany, and Germany is actually doing quite well, except the race riots. Yep, we have air race riots, and that's pretty bad. Yeah, um, well, I did some changes to the immigration law. I hope that helps. Um, everything is now, uh, people don't like me as much as they used to, but who knows, maybe, maybe. Uh, in the next quarter, things are getting better. Well, now we have ghettos. Great. Great. That's what Germany needs. Race rights and ghettos. Well, what to do about that? That's bad. Okay, so, no biggie. We got this. We got this. Whaling? A resolution is before the government proposing the reintroduction of small-scale commercial whaling in Japanese waters. Whale meat is a prized local delicacy, delicacy, delicacy. Sure, weasel. And commercial whaling would create many jobs. Pretty sure not for Germany. Keep the ban in place. There's there's no whaling happening in Germany. Especially, why would we whale at? Never mind. I don't even I don't even care. Okay, so we have a little surplus that could be better and unemployment is going up a lot actually. Freak. Okay. So the import tariffs need to um hmm they need to go up. I feel I feel they need to go up. That would be the only sensible thing to do. No, before I do that, I, I, I should I should have a look at that. That didn't really help at all. The racial tension is still going on. Um, so... I don't know what to do about that. Seriously, guys. Um, the border control has a delay. It's not working yet, so that might take some time, I guess. So, you know what? We're, we're just gonna... Skip the turn and see if, if the ch did change anything. Unemployment goes down a little bit. That's a plus. Uh, religious condemnation. The head of the church has called upon you to resign and told his followers not to vote for you or support your party. <laughs> uh, you guys are irrelevant by now. Seriously, you are. Uh, I'll show you. Don't you, don't you worry about that. Um, so... That didn't change at all. So, where's religion? Right. Religious people. 2.35%. You're basically non-existent anymore. I'm just saying. Just saying. Okay. Let's see if we can actually um, do something about... Do a policy that will uh, help us out a little bit. At least... Uh, no, it does not, except foreign policy is citizenship test. Um, well, they're a way of ensuring that people migrating to your country have a dem demonst <laughs> demonstrable. Uh, I cannot even speak, I can, well, talking is overrated anyway. Well, this citizenship test will show that these people can, well, speak the language history, um, the language and understand the culture and history. God damn it, what's happening? Okay, I got this. I'm pro. I may not be able to talk, but I can govern a country. No biggie. Okay, let's implement that. Um, let's... Well, gotta cost more. The racial tension is going down for whatever weird reason. Um, oh, okay, because we have the test. Patriots are happy. Immigration is going down. Um, okay, let's do that if it helps. In this case, I really want to get the uh, racial riots... Um, gone. I really want them gone. Cyber warfare went really up. I wonder why. Because of the GDP, I guess. Um, military spending should help that out a little bit. Um, we still have the asthma problem. So we need to do something about the environment. Um, pollution controls. We could actually... Restriction and fines. We could uh, raise that again. We reduced that very early in the beginning. So maybe... Now let's do that. Okay, good. Do we have... I don't think we can do anything regardless. Nope. We're now done. We just need to... 
Well, wait out our turn. Let's see. Well, the GDP went down even further. That's lovely. Yeah, the pollution controls are not helping at all. Um, unemployment. Yeah, holding a little bit. We still have a surplus. The global economy is in recession. Oh, that's having a negative effect on our GDP, of course. Huh. Anyway, at least the polls say still 80% would vote for me. <laughs> Idiots. No, just kidding. Um, one of our neighboring countries has had a publicly announced case of foot and mouth disease in its cattle. Ooh, all the chance of disease being spread to us is very low. You are being lobbied by farmers groups to ban the import of cattle from that country as a precaution. Well, yeah, well, if people feel better with it, let's, let's just ban it. For the time being, for the time being, I'm pretty sure we can lift that. Okay. By the way, don't we need, like, certain laws uh, that would prevent those things? At least I believe that would be a good thing. Okay, let's see if we can make our people a little bit more happy. We still have a surplus. We have reserves. Um, I always feel like doing something. Public services. Healthcare... Nah, nah, that's too expensive. I need to look for something that will make, that will make people happy, but still... It will not cost too much. Adult education subsidies. Um, encourage people to retrain and continue the education after they've joined the workforce. This is a good thing. Um, this is a good thing, I'd say. Uh, less unemployment. Okay, let's, let's invest as much money as possible with that. I know people are not happy with that. They don't care about it. It's not popular at all. For whatever reason. Um, okay, voting uh, is going to happen. So in one turn, there's gonna be an election. I wonder who's gonna be voted. Uh, probably me. Probably me. So focus group uh, changes. Since I first were elected, were first elected, the environment went down. Yeah. Crime went down as well, so suck it. Racial tension, eh. Yeah, okay. I mean, I did a lot of good things. The tobacco usage went down by 40%, alcohol consumption by 63. That's insane. Um, tobacco's nearly at zero. I wonder why. Hmm. Never mind. The alcohol consumption, we. Could I guess change something about that? Traffic congestion better than before. Well, I did a good job, I'd say. I did a good job so far. So let's see if we get elected. I, I feel very confident about that. Start counting. Wow. That's pretty obvious, I'd say. Wow. Holy fuck. That only 12% did not vote. That is your activity turnout boost. That is, wow. Even the patriots and the capitalists are really loving me. Except the religious people, they don't. They really don't like me at all. They hate me, they hate my guts, that's fine. Wow, achievement unlocked, legitimate leader. You have managed not only to win the election, but take a majority of the entire electorate with you, leaving no doubt that you are country's legitimate leader. Bigger than 50%, it's even higher than that. Even higher than that. Okay, good. Unemployment is going down. I'll take it. A surplus, no, nah, not even a billion. Oil drilling opportunities. Ooh, right on our soil? Yes, allow drilling, please. I know that the environment suffers on it, but I, why not? Why not? I mean, the oil consumption isn't very high in our country. I'm doing, I'm making sure of that. Um, the oil price, but it would definitely boost the economy, I guess. Traffic congestion going down. That's fine. By the way, what about the state pensions? How high are they? They're 34 millions. Cost history. It's going down. Interesting. Hmm. Because of health. I wonder. 
Why would that go down? If the health goes up, people are alive longer, usually. <laughs> Sorry. Um, they're alive longer, meaning they get more pension, more people get old. Ah, kind of confusing. So... I wonder... Mm, clean energy subsidies... Uh, that's expensive, we could increase that. Well, let's do this, so the environmentalists are happy. They're already extremely happy. Um, maternity leave, I, that is at full pay. Actually, I'm, I was thinking about it to put it to three quarter pay. Or something like this, yeah, three quarter pay. Um, so parents wouldn't be that happy, but the productivity would rise a little. Um, so I think that would be nice, I guess. Full full plus plus paternity leave. Huh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, let's boost the economy a little bit. I know it sucks, but that would leave them a little bit more money. Pro union. Uh we're going to go balanced, my friends. Um There we go. Cost history. Why did it go up so much? Supply changes. Oh, I don't have enough political capital. What a shame. And I'm probably going to forget it until next time. That's fine. Child benefits. Um, yeah. going to reduce that a little bit. Um, poor earning. Ah, no. Nope. Confirm changes. No. We're not going to do that. We're just going to jump right into the next quarter and see how things turn out. We really need to take care of that racial riot problem. Not racial riot. The... What? Oh no, a religious plot. Shit, what is happening? The GDP really crashes down here. That's bad. Market meltdown. Yep, we may have not done anything wrong, but a crisis in confidence in the overseas mortgage market has led to a global meltdown for the stock market. Big financial institutions are panicking that there is likely to be a medium-term drop in the strength of the global economy with resultant impact on us. Impact on us. Yes! Frig, the global economy went down. And a deficit of 3.45 billion. That took a while. That took a while to reach that point again, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. Unemployment goes down, but the GDP as well. That's kind of odd. Um, fine. Okay. We need to boost the economy. People are afraid. Can we do something about that? Rural development grants. Technology advances. More and more citizens take jobs in our cities. There's a danger that poverty and unemployment will rise to unacceptable levels on the countryside. Rural development grants do distort the free market, but they also support rural businesses and prevent poverty amongst farmers and other rural occupations. Nah. Consumer rights. Hmm. Nah. Work safety laws. Nah. Nah. I'm not gonna touch those things. We do need some... Um, I don't even know it right now. Nah, I'm not gonna touch any of those things. I'm looking for a way to improve the GDP. So, yeah, race rights. What about getting rid of the race rights, Weasel? That still does not help at all. I, yeah. So, the immigration scandal kicked it off. I would have thought that community policing and race discrimination act would improve the situation, but apparently it doesn't. Um, immigration is still one of the biggest problems. Um, this is the number of turns of inertia in this effect. So if the underlying value has changed, this shows how many turns it will take before the effect has been fully felt. Yeah, immigration takes eight turns. So border control takes two. Um, immigration goes down. I would have hoped, I mean, immigration goes down. But why would racial tension go up? Wait, racial tension goes down, right? Citizenship tests. Okay, I'm now a little bit confused. Mm. So, immigration measures the number of people entering the country. I get that. Too much immigration too fast can lead to racial tensions. 
So that's why I'm reducing immigration. Okay, good. Border control is reducing that. Uh, the racial tension, though, is really high. And it just takes some time, I guess, until it really kicks in. Well, we're just going to have to deal with that. Can we do something in the meantime, like uh, fund things to improve science? State health service. No, we don't need that. Free school meals, abortion laws. We all had those. State schools. What about those? Modern textbooks. You know what? Student laptops. We are going to invest heavily in education. We're going to do that. Poverty is going down. Unemployment is going down. Uh, education up. Socialist, the poor. Um, private schools are going down. That's fine. Okay. That was expensive, but I feel it was necessary. But we're going to fund this by taxing luxury goods. There we go. Yeah, we all got to pay our prices. 50%. Yeah, okay. 50% seems to be fine. Um, capitalists won't like that. Equality would like that. Socialists would like that. But the wealthy won't. Ah, whatever. It's fine. Let's see how much that brings us. Yes, religious people are trying to overthrow me. I'm sure afraid. A deficit of 28 billion. Ugh. That's uh, not good. Not good at all. Uh, at least I'm still popular and the economy is in deep recession. Um, religious symbols in schools, tell me. There's pressure for us to introduce a law to ban the wearing of religious symbols in state schools by students. This would include wearing the hijab by female Muslim students and the wearing of a cross by Christian students. Um, should religious symbols be banned in schools? Um, I mean... No, everyone is, feels free to believe what they want. I'm not gonna force them. I mean, I don't want to have a cross hanging on the wall, but if a Christian feels like wearing a cross or a female Muslim wearing a hijab, that's fine. Um, I'm rejecting the ban. Okay, good. And, whoa, okay, asthma epidemic. Uh, Seems to do fine. We need to cut costs. We need to cut costs, and we're gonna do that by reducing the state health service, uh, which we can't because it's too expensive. Break uh, in, of course, political capital. That's what I meant. So um, the racial tensions are still going on. The race rights, I mean, and the ghettos as well. Holy frig! They really, yeah. Racial tension is really high. But it's going down, it's kicking in, it could become better soon. Uh, this just takes more time to kick in. Racism and racial tensions and whatnot, this is a very slow process that takes way too long. But, well, just gotta be patient, it will change. It will change with the right policies. Technology grants. I should grant all of the technology, even though it costs two billion more. Um, we should do that to improve technology and our GDP as well. I mean, it won't do much for the GDP. Ooh, and it will reduce the religious membership. So that's a plus, that's a bonus. Organic farming subsidy, huh. That costs a little bit more. Health increases those. In hmm. Nah, we don't need to do that right now. We could improve that eventually. Pollution controls is at restriction and fines. Costs 72 million. I need to reduce some costs. That is definitely something that needs to happen. I just don't know what right now. Let's go to the spending tab and find out what costs the most. I mean, of course, state pensions. I'm afraid to touch those. I don't think I can, yeah. Also, I can't. State schools can touch those as well. The health service. 
I'm going to reduce the health service costs. Wait. Oh, foreign investor tax breaks. Oh, yes. We're going to... We, we have to reduce that. I'm sorry. That's well, only 10 billion, but... Mm, just reducing that a little bit. Save some money. Actually, we need... No, actually, we need to improve that. Yeah, we need to increase that. We need... That's what I said in a very early episode. You need to invest in such a situation, even though it hurts. Um... Take some time to kick in. ID cards, what was that? Oh yeah, right. If I increase that, crime goes down, liberal, little, all those things I don't need because we don't have crime. At least not in, at the moment. Okay, university grants, small business, <laughs> science funding, military spending. We could re decrease that a little bit. I mean, it's 12 billion. Or we could just ride it out because we have some reserves and the deficit is not that high. Eh, it's high. Well, we're gonna find out how that plays out in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was the Democracy Free. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. It really helps out a lot. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. <laughs>